now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we are continuing to monitor the system that is off the seabo eastern seaboard. That is what's bringing those showers in tandem with that cold front. That's going to continue to churn off of the coastline. So as we head through the next 20, 12 hours or so, we're still going to have some lingering moisture on the backside of that to start off your morning drive, expecting some showers, especially on the eastern shore. And then as we head into the afternoon, that system will start to lift off towards the north and east and start to clear out. That's going to take with it our rain chances. And then we're going to be dealing with high pressure building in. And it's this, this is a similar high pressure system that has been baked most of the central portion of the country. So we will see temperatures start to warm back up, but that doesn't happen tomorrow. Tomorrow we benefit from a cold front cloud cover and showers, and that's going to keep temperatures below average for the day here, starting off the morning in the low to mid 60s with showers on the roadway. I think by around 12 o'clock, anything that's falling is just going to be those nuisance sprinkles, a little bit of drizzle on the windshield here, keeping it a bit damp out here through the afternoon. Temperatures struggle to get into the 70s, but we get there. I expect this to top out in the low to mid 70s for the day. And then we'll start to see those numbers cooling back down through the overnight. So the AC is going to get a break tomorrow night as temps at 11 o'clock are already dipping into the mid to upper 50s in places like Parkton and Westminster. So a little bit of relief, but unfortunately, as that high shifts a little bit closer, closer we'll see some breaks in the clouds and that's going to allow for the numbers to warm up as we head through the day. So expecting temperatures to get closer to where we should be tomorrow uh, or for Friday, but not quite there. So we're going to start off the morning in the upper 60s at the 8 o'clock hour when you're pulling into work. As you're grabbing a bite to eat here, a good mix of sun and clouds with numbers in the mid 70s and then we're into the 80s for the afternoon, which is going to be manageable. I still expect us to be roughly three or four degrees cooler than average, but the warm up occurs for the weekend and both days you're going to notice a little bit of an uptick in the humidity as well as the temperatures topping out at 88 degrees on Saturday with an abundance of sunshine that makes Saturday the weekend winter. We're going to be warmer with a few more clouds on Sunday and still keeping that humidity elevated. So all of this ahead of our next weather maker that will eventually bring another opportunity for showers and storms. So good opportunities to get outside for the weekend. Just remember to use that sunscreen every couple of hours. You can't just put it on once and then go out to the pool for five hours. You have to reapply every couple of hours and then we're watching the potential for those showers and storms as we head back to work on Monday. That's another cold front that's going to bring some slightly cooler numbers as we head towards your Tuesday and Wednesday, not to mention some drier air so we will not be dealing with as much humidity.